Hello and welcome to Improve Your Voice, aka Vocabilities.com. My name is Darren McStay and today I'm going to help anyone who would like to be able to hold a note for longer, whether that's singing or a line of speech. So this is a quick video with one simple exercise that you can do every day, a few times a day, just to practice growing the length of time that you can hold a note for or that you can speak for. And what we're going to do, we're going to need some props for this. You're going to need a straw, you're going to need a glass of water and you're going to need yourself. And that is it. So maybe you wanna go away, pause this video and get one now, or maybe you can just watch this video and come back to it, it's just a short video. Now some people think that they can't hold notes for a very long time, and I used to find myself that if it was a, a delicate note or a soft note, I didn't feel like I had enough air, and that when I was belting sound out, it was much easier for me to go on for longer. Now, the human brain is interesting because we don't always know what we're going to say, or we don't think we know what we're going to say. Yet, generally, we always have enough air to get to the end of a sentence. We don't know that happens, it just does. Like right now, I'm, I'm improvising and here I am with enough air. But it seems that every time you're doing it for something that you've learnt or rehearsed, you really need to consider how much air because there's a certain amount of energy and intention that goes into that. And so just to help you understand the amount of air pressure you need to create sound, and that, so that you can hold notes for longer or longer phrases when you speak, this exercise is gonna be really useful. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna get your straw and your a glass of water, and you're simply just gonna make some bubbles. Now, you do not want to make bubbles which are going to be going too wild and crazy and spilling everywhere. That's too much, you're blowing too hard. You don't need that much pressure to make any sound. You really don't, unless you're kind of an opera singer and you're belting out and you need to be open anyway. So you want a nice, gentle, consistent stream of gentle bubbles, which are just, just enough. And the thing with this is, it's really gonna help you learn to start controlling the diaphragm muscle, which is controlling how you send air and the pressure at which you do that. But it's without thinking about it, without trying to own it, without trying to force it or control it. This is you thinking about creating the bubbles or speech or sound when you sing, rather than trying to manipulate what's going on in your belly and your, and your diaphragm and moving that, because that can really take you out of the moment. So this, as an exercise, is gonna train your diaphragm and your brain to connect with sending air out consistently and at a level which over time will grow and expand your range of dynamics by giving you options through how long you can hold a phrase, whether that's singing or speaking. And so that's just a really useful exercise. And it's also just really good for consistency. You don't want to be under-energized either, like. So be brave, be bold, but be gentle. As for correct breathing on this, you will figure it out. Just aim to get the results, nice consistent stream, of bubbles and just you can add on to it if you can do it for 10 seconds at first 30 seconds a minute two minutes see how long you can go for each day build it up maybe do this like five times in a row maybe a couple two three times a day and just add on to that and see how long you can go for challenge yourself see how far you can go see how far you can grow and i tell you before long you won't even realize it but your mind and body will make the connection about being able to hold notes and phrases for longer without you having to really try to manually adjust it or change it. So I hope that's a useful tip for anyone out there who would like to be able to hold a longer phrase. My name is Darren McStay, this is Improve Your Voice aka Vocabilities.com and until the next time, look after your voice. I have so many tales to tell and up till now I've been telling them real badly so I hate myself and all my faults because the one thing time won't heal the loss of days gone by